All right, welcome back to American Blacksmith and part two of our bar stool demonstration video. Today we're going to discuss how to forge these horizontals and to uh, attach and to do our wrap. Right. In this case, we have a horizontal bar that's all forged out of one piece with the wrap because if we welded these pieces together, they could break during assembly. So it's actually more efficient to forge this piece. All right, this is what I'm going to do is forge out this offset on this horizontal. We'll reheat it start forging from there. Here we got the offset ready to be tapered. I'm using the power hammer to draw out the tapers and to knock the edges off. Now I'm back at the anvil to clean up all the edges and to refine the shape.
Well, this is the wrap that I just forged with the offset. To assemble it, we put it upside down and well from the bottom to secure the piece and then start heating it with the torch. And you can do one that's just short like this or one that's long on the other bar stool. So here's an example of a longer taper and a longer wrap to give your customers an option. And we also put this horizontal twisted it on a diagonal. Okay, here's a couple examples of pliers that you can make from uh, commercial or hardware store bought pliers to do your bending. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you file all these edges off of your tools so that you're not putting marks in when you're doing your bending. This is the leg that we twisted in the demonstration. We went in one direction and then I took it and cooled it down to freeze that part of the twist and then twisted it in the opposite direction here. And you can twist evenly like this or twist one tight, one wide. This is the twisting wrench that I was using. So the standard wrenches usually come with serrated teeth in them and you would need to grind all those off but Rigid Tool Company makes what they call a spud wrench which is a smooth jawed wrench. So all you got to do is round these edges on the sides here and then I add a, a handle to this wrench at the other side. Take a piece of 5 eighths round flatten it on this end for grip and then safely weld it to your wrench.